I have a creative mind and I like to use it. I want to do things that really move me. I want to do things that move other people. I'm Paul McGill. Um, I'm the associate choreographer at Hedwig and the Angry Inch. And I've been working for 10 years. I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I started dancing when I was three. I just knew what I wanted to do. I just knew what it was that I was gonna spend the rest of my life doing. Two weeks after my 17th birthday, I got a call to come audition for La Caja Fall. They called me into the room and they said, you start on Saturday and can you make it up to New York? My mom lived with me for three months. She taught me how to do laundry, to cook, to go to the grocery store, to pay my bills on time. And after those three months were up, I was on my own. It was a struggle, you know? It was, it was definitely not easy. I would waltz into class with like leftover mascara. In hindsight, it was very funny. You know, a 17 year old in a dress <laughs> is not exactly traditional. Two days after we won the Tony, we, were, we found out that Lacage was closing. I got a call to audition for a chorus line. That was, I think that was the show that taught me the most about musical theater. I felt like it was college for me. I went in for Spider-Man. They were looking for a vacation swing, and that's how I got it. I think the most challenging thing for me about Spider-Man was feeling safe and making sure that what I was doing was safe to other people. You know, one, one wrong step and that could cost you your career. I went out to LA to do fame. I remember contributing to the choreography. That sort of gave me a boost of confidence of, you know, maybe I could do this. So I had this struggle of, I really want to choreograph. And so I had to feed this side of me that I wanted to emerge, which meant letting go of performing. Right, left, right, left, right, left, chasse. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, bump, bump. Out of the blue, I got a phone call from Spencer Liff asking if I would be the associate on Hedwig. I've been with the show ever since. What I do at Hedwig is um, I'll take Spencer's choreography, I'll take the structure of the show, and I'll put it on somebody and tailor it to them. I mean, Michael C. Hall came in like a dude. I mean, he was a dude and he left a lady. I put John Cameron Mitchell into Hedwig. First of all, as like a fanboy, you know, sitting there this close and him singing The Origin of Love, that, that alone was insane. And then of course now putting Darren into the show. Darren and I hit it off right away. Hello, my friends. Hi, how are Hello, you? Hello, I'm very well. You have a definitely a mutual love for theater. We talk the same language. You're just now getting that final character, which is the audience. Yeah, it's a weird, it's, it's crazy to be in rehearsal for a show where one of your actors are missing right. the entire time until opening night. One of the unique things about Hedwig is that there's no understudy. When we have understudy rehearsal, I have to play Hedwig. I'm still getting my performing kicks. You know what I mean? I'm still being satisfied in a way, but I don't have to do it in front of thousands of people every night. <laughs> I get to do it for me. You know, I guess there are certain people who work in order to live, and then there's people who live to work. And I'm one of those people, because <laughs> it doesn't feel like work to me, and uh, it just feels like part of my life. And it inspires me.